Welcome to Narrow Global Tracking Orientation Training. In this video, we're going to look at the Administration tab. The Administration tab is the last one along the top where we use the different tabs for our system. When we click the Administration tab, we'll immediately see a list of scenarios that have been assigned. And down the left, we have the different choices that we can do within the Administration tab. Currently, we're on Scenarios. We could, at that screen, add a scenario or copy a scenario or delete or deactivate a scenario. We could also set a schedule for those scenarios, just below that. Next is Landmarks. Landmarks are an extremely useful part of the Narrow Global System. And a landmark is giving a name to an address. So then when you see that address in any report or part of the portal, it will show up with a name, which makes a lot more sense to you. Adding and using landmarks will be covered more fully in a later video. For the reports, you can choose and create time slots. So this is where those would be listed, any that if you've made. If you have the dispatch feature of our system, then in here you could look at your driver statuses and change those. We also have the users. Now users is probably one of the most common things that you would use within the administration tab because this is where you would add a new user or delete a user, or make any changes to a user. So I would go down to a name, and I could correct the spelling. I could allow or disallow login to the system. I could change my username, which in this case is my email address. I could change my password. And I could change any of the numbers that are associated with my name. And then I would save down here. So Users is a tab down the left within the administration that you would use most often. We also have here our user groups because, as you know, each user is in a user group and it is the group that you're in that determines what you can do. In this case, we have a lot of administrators. But in your company, you may have clerical, you may have drivers, you may have maintenance. Depends on the company. Notification groups are here as well. And that's for the different parts of our system that can be notified. It's sometimes easier to make groups. So for certain type of notifications, you're going to say that that whole group will be notified. Item groups can be used within the system for types of vehicles or types of assets. For example, you could have many vehicles, but you could make an item group saying, I want to know those vehicles that are in Alberta. Or I want to know all of the vehicles that have a snake on it for 30 feet, 30 feet snaking with plumbing those types of things. It does list the beacons and lastly your profile where you'll see your company name, address, city, and other information again that can be updated to be, uh, you know, always kept update, updated. And of course your time zone because you may not be in the same time zone as another company so it's totally customizable for that. So that's the Administration tab. Remember, you can always call us with questions about setting up any of those things, and we appreciate your time to join us.